So now we're going to add the buttons. In order to do that, I'll go back to the browser. And first, I'm going to drag a screen arrangement, the horizontal arrangement. That's because I want to have the two buttons side by side. So once I have dragged this horizontal arrangement, I'll drag two buttons and I'll name one of them playback and I'll name the other one reset. So this will be my playback and this will be my reset. So these are the texts and I'm going to rename these buttons as well so because that way it makes more sense. So I added the playback button and the reset button so now the emulator shows those two buttons. So I'm going to go back to my blocks editor now and the first thing that I want to do is if the reset button is pressed I want to erase this list. Basically I want to erase the info that's stored on that list not erase the list. So I'm going to find the reset button over here and if reset button is clicked what I want to do is I go to my blocks my definitions set this global notes to built-in lists make a list so what this does is when I'm playing my xylophone it stores everything in the list and when I'm hitting the reset button that's gonna remove all the things that we have stored so let's wait a few seconds while this connects So if I play these, that gets added to the list and when I hit the reset button, notice it was erased and all these new key entries are being stored. So in the next part we are going to see how the playback happens when we hit the playback button.